back here on First Things First. Pro Bowl linebacker Bart Scott joins the conversation. He's Baby hard at work. Baby Blue Dreaming. What up, man? What it do? Don't worry. Oh. Hey, listen, that's lotion. That's all. That's all. That's all. Oh. Black man and lotion in summer don't mix. Hey, that's listen, right, man. man. I'm not worried about how you're You can come feel. in and ruin the show. Yes. But don't ruin Jenna's vocabulary by teaching her all these little things that's going to get her off. Do some better. Zip, zip, zip. No, no, no. Zip it. Don't Duck mouth. Okay. You go, Jenna. Listen. Uh, I, I no. Go. You there. You, you zip <laughs> Let's talk. I need the tutorial. Uh, let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals. Bart, first overall pick, Kyler Murray, starting his first training camp yesterday. Kyler, a new coach, Cliff Kingsbury, will try and bring a new look, high flying offense to the league. Murray was asked about this new offense and why he thinks it'll work in the NFL. I don't see why everybody thinks it. You know, it can't be successful. It's just like any other offense. It's an offense. You know, we, we work at it, we practice it, and it's our job to execute it. Um, if we don't. Then it won't be successful, but if we do, like I said, I mean, uh, you know, I feel like you know it works at the college level. You know, I don't, I don't see why it couldn't work at the pro level. So it's our job to make people believe in that. All right, Bart, you trust that Kyler and uh, Kingsbury will be successful in the NFL? I think they'll be successful initially. Um, I want to see how they adjust to the adjustment. We saw with Lamar Jackson last year coming out and taking the league by storm be before uh, the Chargers came out and put the more athletic pieces out there. I'm, I'm excited because he's a little different than what Lamar Jackson is. You talk about in college, it's over 69% completion rate, only seven interceptions. You know that he can make great decisions with the ball. And unlike RG3 and, and, and Lamar Jackson, he's not so skinny and thin that I, I worry about him taking hard contact. Contact. Even though he's, you know, he's only 205 pounds, that's pretty big. That's bigger than Darren Sproles than somebody that's accustomed to taking hits. So I don't worry about his health. But I want to see how can he adjust to the adjustment. You know, he's a guy that I think gets mislabeled at times. Um, I understand they have trouble protecting the passer, but when you have the RPO type of system, that's a way to really cause pause between the defensive end and the pass rushers to buy yourself more time when you don't have a great offensive line. So. I don't think people worry about his his thickness, if you will. I think they believe he can he is positioned to be able to handle the general punishment of the NFL. The worry is his height, and the worry is his height combined with an offense that has been very successful at the collegiate level, but we've never seen try what. Cliff Kingsbury is going to try to do at the pro level. So it's two different things that will be, as Chris likes to make fun of me for saying, one of one in NFL history. This offense coming to the league and working, and a quarterback this size coming to the league and working. Now maybe in order for one to work, you need the other. And maybe in order for Kingsbury's offense to work, you need a quarterback like this, which is why they moved off of Josh Rosen after trading three picks and up to move into the higher part of the first round to, get to go get him. The other part about Murray, though, that I do think is a bit of a misnomer and very different than Lamar and much more like Russell Wilson is this. He, in college, he would have been an elite player with zero yards rushing. That was, the, the, Lamar had some, he had good passing numbers, but he won the Heisman because he was such a dual threat. Russell Wilson at NC State and at Wisconsin made great plays with his legs, but was an elite passer. Kyler's just his passing numbers. He broke Baker's record of all-time college quarterback efficiency rating. He was a spectacular passer under Lincoln Riley. So I don't think he's going to have to run around a ton to be successful in the NFL. The question and the concern for me going into the process and still is can a guy who's five nine and a half play in the pocket in this league when we've never seen it happen when we know that's what he's going to have to do to be successful? Well, the one thing that he has that no other five nine guy has, he has the arm talent of a 6'4", Troy Aikman, 6'5", okay. quarterback. He has that type of arm talent. The thing that, that there's two concerns that I have. Number one, coming from Oklahoma, just like Baker Mayfield, and Baker was, he got lucky because he went to a team that had a decent offensive line in the Cleveland Browns. Best offensive line in college football last year, Oklahoma Sooners. So that 5 dime guy sat behind a massive offensive line, and they, they've been very good at the offensive line the last several years, the reason why their quarterbacks have played. The Arizona Cardinals, bruh, their offensive line is awful. It is awful. So I'm concerned that he is going to be running for his life because of the offensive to. line. He's going to have to. And I do remember, and I'm not trying to make this comparison, so just listen to me and hear me because I'm trying to work this thought out. Remember when they had the Wildcat, Bart? 
Yeah. And there were certain problems it presented to the defense. We destroyed, we destroyed it. Yeah, you destroyed it. And that's why I brought it up with you on the program, because the Wildcat couldn't present another option as far as throwing the football. And right. when they put all those people at the line of scrimmage, they didn't make them play. Hey, the air raid offense has not been great at pass protection. So who is helping Cliff Kingsbury change these multiple pass protections so you can protect that quarterback? And in that offense in college, it's predicated on the hash marks. The and the hash marks are so much wider, you can out-athletic people in college. You can give a guy sideways the ball in space, and he can make something happen. You can't do that in the NFL because they're too quick, and, they, and the ball is in the middle of the field. So I need to see what are the answers to what people are going to do because they getting ready to heat him up, man. Right. Like they getting ready to blitz him in the pocket. And when they get those answers, I do believe they'll have a chance to be successful. But if they don't, my man Clingsbury gonna be back with that nice smooth haircut back <laughs> in college somewhere. See but, see, but here's the difference. And you know, while we were able to defeat the Wildcat, you know, a lot of times it was ran through Ronnie Brown, and he was a guy who, that we knew wasn't a threat to throw the ball. So when a quarterback is efficient, he can run the ball. Now it's 11 on 11, because usually it's 11 on 10, because once the quarterback, you know, hands the ball off, he becomes a spectator. I'm not concerned with him as far as being able to throw the ball and bat and pass batted, because he was one of the best at that and not getting his ball batted. He has an overtop delivery, doesn't have a sidearm delivery like Lamar Jackson, not like even some of the tall the quarterbacks that have come in and he's always been that height and I would understand and having to defend Michael Vick and being one of the teams that had some of the best success against Michael Vick we understand that shorter quarterbacks throw through windows but the same windows he throw through is the same windows that he that he runs through so what defenses are going to try to do is stir the pocket and destroy the view distort the view so he can't have clear views to see where that guy is open to throw through that window so he's going to be on the move a lot so early on it's going to be important that they get him on the move so so they, they can dictate where the ball is going and who's coming into his vision. But he's still a threat. He's a guy that has that elite speed that he can change your angle. And I think guys in space are going to realize that he's a lot faster, a lot more difficult, and a lot more elusive to get. He's more quick than, than Russell Wilson, more explosive, but he still gives you that short target where, you know, as a defender, you hit him, and if you hit him a lot of times because he's shorter, you knock him back opposed to knocking him over because he has a great center of uh, gravity. gravity and Mm -hmm. Great balance. A lot of times we see guys come and think they're going to blow Darren Sproles up because he's so small. You end up propelling him back. He stays on his feet. You falls down. And for people thinking that he's going to fail, I don't think. He's Lamar Jackson, but he can throw. Yeah. So if Lamar Jackson was a success, which he was last year, getting his team into the Baker playoffs, too. He's better and he's going to continue to grow, he's not a better thrower than Baker. He's a better athlete than Baker is. Baker got a better support and cast. I think he can be successful. My thing is the principles to this offense aren't sound. And then when you don't have sound principles in the NFL, they exploit you. But you mentioned you mentioned he's he can if Lamar could be successful, he can. Lamar, I believe, would have had no shot doing what he did last year behind that Cardinals offensive line. He had a good offensive line, a great coach, a very good running game, and an excellent defense. The, the Cardinals were worst at everything last year. Yeah. They were the worst scoring offense, the worst points offense. They were a bottom six scoring defense. They were the fourth worst plus minus team. They were just, they, they got Larry, they got David Johnson, maybe Better they got back. Chandler That's Jones, Patrick Peterson. Back. Well, they need David Johnson to be the guy he was a couple years ago, not the last two years. So mm -hmm. it, there's a lot working against Kyle. Tyler, his first season, which is why it'll be very interesting. Perfect system for a bad offensive line. Okay. Just as Deshaun Watson. NFL worst 3 and 13 last year, the Cardinals. Yes. That's how they got them. Any change is a good change. Bart, stick around coming up. Are Aaron Rodgers and the Packers underdogs this year? That's next on First Things First. And I really like that story.